Welcome to another video with a quick recap that the walls of the digestive tract are composed of smooth muscles. Smooth muscles have long spindle shaped cells that are arranged in bundles or sheets. Let's move on to discuss how peristalsis happens. Peristalsis is a movement that provides power for propelling the contents through the lumen of the digestive tract. The muscle fibers in the walls of the digestive tract are arranged in two ways. There are circularly arranged fibers and there are longitudinally arranged fibers. So when the circularly arranged fibers contract, assuming these are the circularly arranged fibers and as a wave of contraction passes through them, it pushes the contents of the lumen forward. Like this. Now coming to the longitudinally arranged fibers, when the longitudinally arranged fibers contract, the wall of the lumen is pulled proximally over the contents like this. The combined action of these two movements pushes the content of the lumen of the digestive tract forward like this. So these are the circularly arranged fibers. When the circularly arranged fibers contract, they push the food or the contents forward while at the same time contraction of the longitudinal fibers pushes the wall of the lumen backward.